Hi everybody, Les Taylor here, and in this quick tip video, I want to show you three different ways that you can straighten your images in Photoshop. Now, if you use Lightroom, you may know that in the Transform panel, you can easily straighten your images there, and that's totally fine. But for me, sometimes, I want to do my extensive processing first, which will involve Lightroom and Photoshop, and so I want to straighten my images last. And so if you want to do that, or if you're just using Photoshop to straighten your images, it's good to know some of the tools that are available. So again, I'm just going to cover three of them today. Now, this image is from the Kurashiki Beacon District in Okayama Prefecture, Japan. And it's not a place that a lot of foreigners actually go, but it's one of my favorite places in the country, actually. One of the neat things about it is that they have taken all of the electrical wires and buried them underground. And uh, if you've ever been to Japan, you know that there's typically wires just all over the place. So when you find a place where they've buried them underground, it's really nice because you get a better sense, especially in these old districts, you get a better sense of old Japan. It's really neat to walk through here and see the old buildings and all of that. So definitely if you get the opportunity, a great place to visit. Anyway, if you look at this image, you can see that the building on the left and on the right is not straight. It's tilted out to the side. And that's because when I shot this image, I was shooting with a wide angle lens and my camera was pointed at a slightly downward angle and that creates that distortion. Now, sometimes you may just not care about this and that's totally fine, but if you want to straighten it, again, it's good to know how to do that. So there's a few tools that I will use in Photoshop if I want to do that. The easiest probably is to go up to filter and lens correction and then I will choose not auto correction but custom and go down to the bottom panel here that says transform it's actually very similar to what you might see in Lightroom and you have two main options here vertical perspective or horizontal perspective that is up and down or left and right and then you have the option to rotate it or scale it so in this case, all I really need to use is the vertical, the vertical perspective slider. And I'm going to focus on this building here because that's probably the easiest way for me to know whether this is properly straightened. So I'm going to move the vertical slider to the right until I feel like I have gotten to roughly the right point. And uh, I think that actually looks pretty good. So you can see that this is straightened. This building is straight. But there's a problem with this, which is that this boat now at the bottom is all the way into the corner now. There's hardly any space between the boat and the right and bottom edge of the frame. And so that doesn't look very nice. Now that's still there. All of that information, that part of the image is still there. Actually, if I scale out, you can see that all it has done, Photoshop has just tilted the image back as if it was a flat piece of paper almost. And so that part of the image is still there, but it's removed by this uh, perspective, uh, this vertical perspective uh, correction. Now I could save this or open it back up and then just crop that out and there's some other things I could do like changing the horizontal perspective some if I wanted to try to work with that. But in this case this isn't really the tool I want to use. But it's good to know because sometimes it works really well. So we'll cancel that. Now the next option that I use is probably the one that I use I would say 95% of the time in my images. And that is first I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to choose control A which selects the entire image and then I'll right click anywhere within the image and then choose free transform and once I choose free transform I can manipulate this image in a lot of different ways actually if I right click on the image you can see this uh, this menu comes up and I have options like scale rotate skew distort etc um, but in this case first I'm just gonna start with something very simple so I'm gonna go down to this bottom right point and on the PC I'm gonna choose shift control alt and all this does is it means that when I pull on this particular point, it's going to mimic that on the other side as well. It'll do it to both sides at the same time. So now that I've got Shift, Control, and Alt held, again, that's on the PC, I'll start dragging this to the side. And you can see it has the same kind of effect. It will tilt the image. And I'll just tilt it until I feel like that line over there on the left is fairly straight. And I think that looks pretty good right there. Now the benefit of this, first of all, is you can see that it hasn't put the boat all the way into the corner like the lens correction did. Um, there's still some space between the boat and the bottom part of the frame and it's removed a little bit from the right side but not quite as much. But one of the nice things is I can now do that part of the adjustment on my own. If I want to pull this down a little bit I can do that but I don't have to do it all the way and I can even pull the top side up some too. 
Now another great thing is I can right click again and for example I could choose warp and I can make some extra adjustments on top of this adjustment that I've already done. For example maybe pull up on this to try to straighten that out some or something like that. So there's a lot of different ways to use the free transform tool and again it's the one that I use probably 95 percent of the time when I'm trying to straighten out my images. So a very good one to use. So we'll cancel that out and the final one that we're going to use today is one of the most complicated kind of and it's really weird but it's called Puppet Warp. So I'll go into Edit and choose Puppet Warp and if I turn this grid on you can see and this is probably how it will look if you've not used it before um, you'll have this sort of spider web of lines all across the image and and this is kind of showing you how Puppet Warp is thinking. It's thinking in terms of adjusting particular areas of the image rather than maybe the image of, as a whole in a sense. So if I turn that off I can now actually add points to the image and these points are kind of like anchor points but they're also adjustment points. They're points that I can pull on to warp the image in, in different ways. So I have put these here mostly to kind of uh, again be like an anchor. These are things that I don't really want to move too much. So I want this boat to stay the same and right now I'm going to keep this building the same. And let's say I just want to try to uh, straighten out this pole here. So what I might do is put a point at the top and then a point somewhere along the bottom and then just pull on that to the side and you can see that that actually sort of straightens out just that particular pole, that, that lamp post, and it keeps everything else more or less in the same, uh, the, the same position that it was before. So it's a really good tool to have in that way because you can focus on a certain point. Now you have to be careful because, for example, that pole or that, that lamp post may look straight now, but it doesn't look straight in the reflection, so it's a little bit strange. But you get the idea. And this is really good, maybe not for straightening out the entire image, but if you have kind of a problem area that you want to fix, this is a great tool to know how to use. So those are the three main tools that I use when I'm straightening images in Photoshop. And I would encourage you to try those out for yourself on your own images. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask them below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, stay safe and happy shooting.